I know you have places to go, things to do this summer. You're going on trips and I'm here to help you pack for them. Let me help you pack for your upcoming trip and let me help you do it in a carry-on, in a carry-on, in a carry-on. I know, I know some of you are like, I've already been packing carry-ons. I'm one step ahead of you, but you still wanna watch this video. Because I'm gonna show you how to do it in a way that is stylish, that gives you lots and lots of different options and so that you feel ready and, and well-dressed for wherever you're going and whatever you're doing this summer. So I'm gonna share travel clusters, travel mini wardrobes for any type of trip and I'm gonna show you how to pack efficiently. I'm also gonna show you the seven steps that I take when packing for a trip for either myself or for a client. So if you're new here, my name is Netta. I'm a personal stylist. My whole goal for this channel is to help build your wardrobe and help you look and feel your most stylish and your most beautiful every single day, every single day. That's the focus of everything I do here on YouTube as a personal stylist and through my Angel Style program where I have cheered over 5,000 women on to wardrobes and style that they love. Like great, everyday, consistent, easy, make it simple style. So if you're new here, again, welcome. Really, really excited to be talking about travel and really excited to be working with level eight on today's video. I'm gonna introduce you to their luggage in a couple of minutes, but I think you're gonna be as obsessed with it as I am because I am, I tend to be a form plus function kind of person. Some people are like, I want the luggage to be pretty, but I don't need it to be uh, practical. Some people are like, I want the luggage to be practical, but it can be ugly. I want both, I need both. And so if you need both and you want luggage that just kind of does it all and also looks really, really stylish, you're gonna wanna stay tuned. So I am excited today again to be talking about travel and I'm going to share my seven tips, my seven strategies for really the step-by-step -step process that I take when I am packing for a trip, whether it's for myself or for a client. Okay, the first step that I take when packing for a trip is I look at the itinerary. I look at where you're going, what you're doing every day. Now, even if it's a rough itinerary, sometimes it can be really detailed, sometimes it can be a little bit a little bit broader, but is it a sightseeing day? Is it a fancy dinner night? Is it, um, are you doing some kind of outdoor adventure, adventure activity? Are you getting dressed to go to the opera or to a special show? Like what are the events on your itinerary? So, you know, we start Start by really taking a look at what you're going to be doing on your trip. The second thing is that we assign dress codes to each of the things that is on your trip. So it's, you know, date night is a dress code. Smart casual is a dress code. Outdoor activity is a dress code. Casual casual is a dress code. Sightseeing can be a dress code. So you want, you come up with your own dress codes. Um, and you know, I've shared many like casual casual, smart casual, a little bit dressed up. Um, you, you can assign your own dress codes to the events that are on your itinerary so that you can look at your itinerary and right away know, okay, this day I'm gonna be doing something outdoors. And then in the evening, we're gonna be doing a date night or we're gonna be dressing up to go somewhere. So you wanna assign one to two dress codes for every day. Hopefully you don't have a, a day with four dress codes, but that does happen on some trips. Um, the third thing is to find the outliers. On most trips, there is one or two days or events that where you're gonna have to dress differently than you're gonna have to dress for the rest of the trip. So for example, maybe it's a casual trip, but one night you're going to a show and you need to dress for that show. Or maybe it's um, a dressier trip and one day you're gonna be doing some kind of outdoor, maybe you're gonna be hiking or you're gonna be doing something that requires a bathing suit, but you're not gonna be reaching for those clothes the rest of the trip. So those are the outlier events. Okay, fourth, you wanna pick your travel outfit. So I like to have a separate outfit that I kind of reserve for travel. Now, you, there are you know lots of philosophies on this. Your travel outfit can be something that you wear over and over again on your trip, but I like to have one designated outfit for travel. I try to wash it in between if I can, but I wear it on the flight over and I wear it on the flight back. This year, it's gonna be my Lily Silk. I love this Lily Silk, uh, like silk lounge set because it's polished and cool and chic, but it's also comfortable enough for a, even a transatlantic flight. So you wanna pick your travel outfit. Now that can come from your cluster that you're going to be creating, or it can be a separate standalone outfit. Um, okay. Tip five or step five, you wanna create clusters. So clusters are the concept I've introduced you guys to. If you're not familiar with them, you can definitely search them on this channel, but it includes three tops, two bottoms, and a jacket or a completer piece. Clusters are the way that I help my clients pack and the way that I pack efficiently and effectively for travel. Because with a cluster, 
three, you know, three tops, two bottoms, and a jacket. You've got 12 outfits that are interchangeable. Everything goes together. You have a focused color palette. You have a focused style. And it really, really helps you pack efficiently, but also gives you options so that you look and feel stylish on your trip. So a cluster is really the way to go when you're packing for any kind of a trip. So as a rule of thumb, one cluster can take you on a trip for a week, two clusters can take you on a trip for two weeks. Now again, this is a rule of thumb and you can make the cluster concept your own, but it's a concept I've used for years and has worked consistently with the clients that I've used it with. So it's really a great starting point. If you, if you map out your pieces that way, you're going to have a lot of great options and you're going to feel, um, you won't feel bored and, and, and hampered by your travel wardrobe. Okay, next, um, I add accessories. So the, my general rule for accessories is um, three, a three, two, one rule. I just, I, I made this up. I know there's five, four, three, two, one travel, you know, uh, rules out there and that, that's trending. But my three, two, one rule is three shoes for the trip. You're going to wear your bulkiest shoe. Um, two bags, a little bag that fits in a tote bag because you want a little bag for like a little crossbody or a clutch for taking out and walking around or maybe going out to dinner. And then you want a larger tote bag that can be, it can double maybe as your, as your um, travel bag. It can also double as a beach bag, like whatever, depending on your trip, you want a larger tote and then you want a smaller bag that will fit inside your tote. So two bags, three shoes, two bags, and then one additional accessory for a summertime trip this can be a hat it can be a scarf it can be um like you know whatever you want it to be it can be an additional bag but you often it's going to include one other accessory now that last one is optional but i i like to have it i like to because i think accessories are really what keep your clusters and your travel wardrobe from feeling boring and feeling flat okay Finally, jewelry is going to be part of your cluster, but I don't really, uh, or your, you know, your three, two, one, but I don't really count jewelry as much because it takes up very, very little room. Okay, finally, you are going to, you know, for your travel outfit, you're going to include your bulkiest shoes, a, a, a coat or a bulky jacket if you have them. Those should go on the plane with you because you really don't want to try to stuff those into your, your carry-on. You want your carry-on space to be maximized and adding, you know, a big wool coat to your carry-on or a puffer jacket to your carry-on is probably not going to give you that much space for the rest of your items. Okay, so those are my seven strategies for packing for a trip in a carry-on. Really excited to be sharing level eight suitcases with you in today's video. So this really inspired me to create a carry-on packing video when I got this most beautiful carry-on. It's the most beautiful carry-on. So it's their luminous textured luggage and I got the carry-on, their 20 inch carry-on in pink. How beautiful is this? How beautiful is this carry-on? It is so, so pretty, but it's also super practical. So like I said, I want form and function in my luggage. I don't, I don't want to sacrifice one for the other. And this has all of the bells and whistles and, and details and features that I've not seen anywhere else, including this three-step telescopic handle. Like the handle just comes in and out, like exactly, not, not just on one side, the whole thing goes in and out and it's super, super smooth. It's the most maneuverable bag. It's very, very lightweight. Um, of course, we need it to be lightweight because the luggage, um, the weight requirements are crazy right now. And so you want the bag to be lightweight for that reason, but also you don't want it to be bulky and hard to carry. Um, I also, it's very, it, it pretty much, moves itself across the airport because the the wheels are the smoothest wheels I have ever felt. It is ridiculous how glidable this is that that a word is that a word how glidable the suitcase is. And again, it's just absolutely beautiful. So beautiful, practical, durable and lightweight. It checks all the boxes for me. Now they have a lot of different carry-ons. This is the one I chose. This is the 20 inch luminous um, um, finish carry-on. They have one that has an outside pocket for, or a pocket for a laptop. There's one with an outside pocket in it. There are all different types of carry-ons available, but this was my pick for something that was going to check all of the boxes for me personally. So you want to take a look at everything that they have. They also have really, really beautiful luggage sets and they have um, packing cubes, which I'm going to share in a minute. But first about the luggage, rugged yet rugged yet refined. It stays scratch free, smooth handling. Um, the, the interior is fully lined on both sides and it has a handy divider and two zip, zipper pockets in the interior. So really, really nice, very easy to keep your items divided and um, to keep everything kind of situated where you want it to. Um, it rolls with ease. 
it comes at 18, these, the Luminous collection comes at 18, 20 inch, 24 or 28 inch. I chose a 20 inch carry on, of course. And you can also bundle it as a luggage set and save a little bit of money that way. But absolutely love, love, love this luggage set. I'm gonna have all the details in the description box so that you can check it out for yourself. And thank you so much, Level 8, for working with me on today's video. Super, super excited about my new luggage. Okay, now I'm so excited because I'm going to show you the travel clusters that I've created for lots of different types of trips. So this first cluster, series of clusters, I have two clusters and an accessories cluster for each of these trips. And you can shop these clusters for your upcoming trips and know that you're going to be ready for anything. And you can also sub the items that I have on these clusters. You can sub them out and you know replace them, of course, with items that you already own in your closet. And use these as templates for packing for a trip. So, you know, like I said, you can shop the entire cluster or you can plug and play with items from your own wardrobe and use these as templates for packing. Okay, so the first cluster is a city cluster. This is for any urban setting. It can be in Europe, it can be in the US, but an urban setting where you wanna look chic and you wanna look polished, but you also want that cool street style. You wanna be able to go wherever you wanna go in this and and, and feel like you're, you're, you're hip, you look stylish, you look, appropriate for an urban setting. Okay, so this cluster is completely from Veronica Beard. Oh, this was so much fun to create. And it's based on navy, khaki, and then white slash cream. So the, the color palette of this cluster is focused and that really makes all the pieces work together really well. So that's the key. You, wanna, you want to ideally um, narrow your cluster down to a color palette so everything goes with everything else, including the shoes, including the accessories. Okay, so the first thing is um, we've got the first cluster. We've got three beautiful tops. We've got a navy and cream striped knit. We've got a silk blouse that's got blue and, and beige and cream in it. And then we've got a pretty cream lacy blouse. For the bottoms, I have, and often with a cluster, you can start with a two-piece set or a suit. So in this case, I started with this navy suit. So the navy suit includes the blazer and the shorts. It's a short suit, which I felt like was perfect for an urban setting in spring or summer. And so I built this entire wardrobe, this entire travel wardrobe around the suit. So we started with this navy suit. We added the three tops, all which go well with the navy suit um, and so you've got already one bottom and one jacket because of the suit right um, and then I added a pair of cream jeans so that's cluster number one done very elegant very polished like this can take you through a week where you're going to look and feel really really stylish now of course you can always sub out the 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 shorts for a skirt if you'd rather do that but this is just an elegant and easy um, cluster now the second cluster that I added to this works with the first cluster and that's the secret because when you add the, the second six pieces and they work with the first six pieces, then you've got like something like 6,000 outfits. Now, don't quote me on that, but it's like right around 6,000 outfits. It gives you a ton of possibilities. So this cluster includes um, a very simple white linen top. It includes a printed top that pulls the colors from the cluster into it. And then it includes a cardigan slash sweater. So I love taking these on trips because a cardigan that buttons up the front and doubles as a sweater is a double duty item. It works as a completer piece and it works as a sweater. Then it also includes a pair of blue jeans and a pair of beige pants. Now, if you're going on, on dressier places and you want an additional skirt, you, you want a skirt option, there's gonna be a dress coming up, but you want a skirt option, you can absolutely sub out one of these bottoms for a skirt. You could do a denim skirt, you can do a, a silk A-line skirt. Those are both gonna be beautiful options. But for this one, I just did the, the beige pants and and the, the beige linen pants and then the jeans and then I added uh, like a camel beige leather blazer because why not why not it's so gorgeous like I said all of these pieces are Veronica beard and they're all linked below then I added an additional cluster and this cluster is just this is the accessories cluster these are the accessories that I'm adding to this wardrobe and so it includes three pairs of shoes it includes a pair of ballet flats in like a cork material which I thought was really cool and unexpected and will elevate all the all of the outfits. Um, I added a pair of gold strappy sandals and then I added this beautiful pair of um, slides mules in this gorgeous you know luggage brown color. Absolutely love that. I added a white crossbody bag and um, I would add a wristlet inside of this 
or you can use the white crossbody bag and put it into a tote so that you've got those two bags in the cluster. And then I added a beautiful dress. This is a beautiful dress. Now you can dress this dress down a little bit and wear it with, um, wear, wear it with like one of the jackets over it or throw on that little cardigan sweater thing over it, or you can dress it up and wear it with the heels and go out to dinner. So love this cluster. This is an urban cluster. We'll take you to any city in style. You can go to New York, you can go to Los Angeles, you can go to Paris, you can go to London. It's just a beautiful and elegant cluster. Okay, the second cluster is loosely called my warm weather, like, fantasy cluster. So this is if you're going to Miami, you're going to the south of France, you're going to Spain, you're going to Italy, you're going somewhere glamorous, but warm. And you want color, you want interest, you want detail, like you just want it to be just super, super glamorous. So I did this cluster using items from anthropology because why not? That's what I think of when I think of, it's a very boho, very colorful, very fun and very feminine cluster. Um, series of clusters. Okay, so I started with this incredible shorts suit. So short suits are trending. If you're not familiar, if you haven't seen them, they're everywhere. And I loved this one with the embellishments and the embroidery and the color on it. So often, like I said, starting with a two-piece set, but also you can, you can use um, a printed item as a springboard for your cluster because you can pull all the other colors of your wardrobe, of your travel wardrobe, from the pattern and use that to tie the whole wardrobe together. So with this one, I started with this incredible suit. Um, like I said, it's a short suit and it has this embroidered blazer and these embroidered shorts. Then I added a pair, unfortunately, anthropology doesn't let you just pull out the picture of just the item, but I added a pair of cream jeans because I think white jeans, cream jeans are really like a summertime staple. Um, then I added this pretty orange top with a bow detail. I added a white button down and I added a cream sweater vest, like a beige sweater vest. Okay, next set of clusters. This is also from Anthropology. Same same wardrobe. Um, I added a denim jacket. I added three beautiful tops. This is a um, a farm rio like embroidered like eyelet top, a striped top, and um, uh, a lacy off white top. Then I added a beautiful flowy skirt and I added a great pair of jeans. So that's that's the summertime, warm weather, romantic, boho, colorful cluster. Um, of course, I had so much fun with the accessories. There's a straw tote that I love, love the shape and the, and the, the color combination of the straw tote, a little wristlet to take with you out to dinner and out and about, um, a straw hat, a pair of woven flat shoes, a pair of strappy, um, sandals, a pair of um, like a strappy heeled sandal, and then a strappy flat sandal. Um, I added a dress. This is a beautiful, like romantic, flowy dress that would be great for events. And um, you've got your cluster sorted, right? You've got your accessories. You've got your three, two, one accessories. The one in this case is the hat, and you've got um, a you know a beautiful dress, which I add in the accessories cluster. So we're looking at one cluster with six pieces, a second cluster with six pieces, a third cluster, often with a dress, three shoes, two bags, and another accessory. Okay, the next cluster is a casual like resort cluster. Casual, but again, really, really pretty. These can be interchangeable, of course, like you, you pick what you love for your cluster. But this to me was inspired by like, you're going to a beautiful resort and you're gonna hang out. Like maybe you're going to Sea Island or Mackinac Island. I'm trying to think of places. In the, maybe you're going to Palm Beach even. Um, so again, kind of interchangeable with the warm weather cluster, but a little bit of a different vibe. So here I started with, um, instead of starting with a two-piece set, I started with this beautiful patterned top from Farm Rio. Love this blouse. I thought it was beautiful. And this was the springboard for the palette for the entire cluster. Um, to that, I added a beautiful pair of navy linen pants and I added an orange breezy flowy skirt. Again, we're going for like summertime resort feeling clothes. Added a little linen cropped jacket and then two white tops. One is like a simple white um, this is actually from Zimmerman. This is kind of a fancy cluster. Uh, it's like a white terry cloth kind of tee that I thought was really, really cool. And then a white lacy blouse, because I feel like if you're not even taking, if you're not taking a white lacy blouse on a trip, why are you even going places? Like, why would you go somewhere this summer without taking a pretty white blouse? 
I don't really care that it's not that practical. It is so pretty and you can just wash it in the sink, right? Like you just have to take a white pretty blouse with you on a trip. So um, like I said, this is, this is kind of a fun and fancy cluster. Um, the second set of items that go with the first set of items includes this um, blue open work kind of sweater, which I think is beautiful, a green and white farm Rio top, and then a simple blue linen short sleeve top. Um, I've got denim shorts, and then I've got the white Zimmerman shorts that go with the white Zimmerman top from the first cluster that I just showed you, and um, a kind of a, an airy cream cardigan. So you've got this color palette that's got blues, a little bit of greens, a little bit of orange. Now we're going to add the accessories. This is where I think it's, we have we can have the most fun. So we've got a beautiful flowy uh, printed dress. I think this is a Farm Rio dress. Um, so that's the dress for this cluster. We've got a hat, of course, because this is a warm weather cluster. And then we have a straw, a little straw crossbody, because if you do not like straw bags. I get it, but you're you're wrong. Sadly, you're wrong. You have to start liking straw bags if you're going to follow me because I think they are the coolest and the chicest and they take you everywhere in summer in style. They're just they're just the summertime. Just trust me, buy one, you will use it. I promise you. This one's very affordable. It's from Billabong. So if you're on the fence and you're like, I don't even know if I'm going to listen to her about the straw bag, try it. Try it. You're going to love it. Um, so this straw bag fits inside this very, very cool tote from I don't, JW Pay. Um, it's a really cool kind of rubber tote. It also comes in green, but I think it's a great like beach bag. Um, and then I have three pairs of shoes, a pair of espadrilles, a pair of flat metallic sandals. You'll notice that those show up in most of my travel clusters. And then a little pair of heels with that pop of orange. Okay, so that is the fun, like warm weather resort cluster done. Then I decided maybe we need like a minimal go anywhere, go everywhere, very neutral cluster. So this will take you anywhere you're going. It'll take you to casual places. It'll take you to nicer places like cities if you're doing a little bit more of a casual trip, but it's a casual, neutral, minimal cluster. Okay, so this includes all items from one from Quince. So I do have a code for Quince. I will link it below. It's like a link, not a code. And I'll have that in the description box below. But it includes three tops. This is a white linen top, a white silk tee, washable, comfortable, breathable, and then like a ribbed sweater tank in black. Um, it also includes a cropped black linen jacket, includes black linen shorts, and it includes white linen pants. So you've got these airy, breezy, summer friendly pieces that are minimal and neutral. Um, it also includes um, a skirt. This is like a breezy cotton flowy skirt. I think this is a summertime essential. It includes this beautiful pair of black Ponte knit pants. These are super, super comfortable. This could be, this with one of the, the tees could be your travel outfit. It's just really, really comfortable. Doesn't wrinkle. Very, very practical for a trip. Includes a linen blazer to spiff it up a little bit, right? Um, it includes a sleeveless silk top, um, a, a really nice Ponte knit um, like structured tee slash top that would go great with the pants. And then you could throw the, the a uh, cream blazer on over it for a very, very chic travel outfit. And um, that's also really, really practical and feels like pajamas. It's But it's that really nice, thick, substantial ponte knit. And then a really pretty flowy blue top. Um, you could, of course, replace this with the obligatory white lacy top that I'm telling you to have. Um, and then for the accessories, I love these accessories as well. Um, there's a big black tote bag. Uh, Quince has a variety of these to choose from. It's a great travel bag. And then a little brown crossbody bag that can go in the tote bag, but that is your running around bag. And then you've got a pair of black slides. I think these are so, so pretty. Um, a pair of white sneakers and then a pair of like Birkenstock style sandals with, uh, they're white, but they're like that Birkenstock style. So also black sunglasses, because we need sunglasses on every summer trip. They really should be in all of these clusters. Um, a black bucket hat, and then a black shirt dress. This is a linen shirt dress. It's, you know, easy to dress up. You can dress it down with sneakers. You can dress it up with the little flats, and it's really a very, very versatile piece to take on your trip. Okay, 
the final cluster, this is a cruise cluster. It's a cruise cluster and I created it from a brand called Hermosa. Um, and they have beautiful, modest, um, and really, really stylish, really feminine resort wear as well as special event dresses. Just really, really beautiful clothes. And I love featuring smaller brands like this. Um, okay, so I started with Hermosa. I started with this two-piece set. This is a two-piece linen set. It includes the, the linen top and the linen shorts. I added a pair of wide leg linen pants and this beautiful bathing suit that can also double as a top. Um, bathing suits on, on, on trips like this, if it's a one piece bathing suit, it's such a, I think every woman needs, I'm gonna do a, a different video on really elegant one piece bathing suits because I think even if you're a bikini person, it's worth having a beautiful one piece bathing suit in your wardrobe. And this one, like I said, doubles as a top. And then like a white, um, cover up slash dress slash shirt. So this is a piece that can serve a couple of you know, a couple of purposes. And then I included this is a little bit of a different. I went outside of my cluster model for this because it's a different type of trip and also based on the items that they had at Hermosa. Um, and then I added this beautiful blue and white flo flowy dress. So that's the first cluster. Like I said, not completely following the cluster model, but I made it my own using the pieces from this specific brand. Um, then I added another bathing suit because this is a, a cruise. It's a bathing suit you know, heavy trip, right? Then I added this beautiful dress in the same pattern as the bathing suit. This is a dress that's convertible. You can wear it as a dress and you can wear it as a skirt. So you can, again, wear the bathing suit as a top with, with that as a skirt, or you can wear it as a dress. Um, also, I added, using the same color palette, I added this beautiful striped dress. Um, I added this beautiful pair of flowy pants, like, you know, like for lounging beachside. These are cover-up pants, right, to wear with the bathing suits. And then I added, of course, a flowy white dress since I don't have a flowy white blouse in here. The, the flowy white dress had to come in. It's beautiful. It's perfect for those dinners on the cruise where you dress up a little. And then I added a really pretty pink skirt. So again, all of these pieces are kind of interchangeable and create really, really cute and feminine. So by kind of interchangeable, I mean, it depends on your personal style. I would absolutely wear all of these tops with all of these bottoms. And I think it would be a really, really cute combination. So um, that flowy pink skirt is that last clothing piece. Then I added um, three, two, one with my accessories. I added a sneaker in case you're going to be doing any like sightseeing and running around on an island, um, doing any excursions. I added a slide that doubles as like a, a poolside sandal. This is beautiful and a little bit more elevated than a flip flop. And then I added a strappy uh, gold sandal. Um, of course, the two bags, we have a straw tote absolutely mandatory and a must. We have a beautiful, colorful bag that will fit in the straw tote, um, a pair of sunglasses and a straw hat, because again, this is a cruise and you're going to need to protect your face from the sun. So those are my clusters. I did what, five of them or six of them for, for pretty much every kind of trip you can be going on. Now, if you're doing just a strictly adventure trip, I I'm going to have an adventure cluster in the blog post. There's always a blog post linked underneath the video in the description box. I will always have um, a link to the catalog when I'm when I'm sharing items that, you know, if you're interested in any of these items, there's going to be a catalog linked as well as um, the catalog is always linked in my blog post as well. So you can check out the items from these clusters and shop them yourself. Or like I said, use these as a template and plug and play items from your own wardrobe so that you can create clusters that will take you through every trip in style. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give this video a like and comment below with the cluster that you liked best, whether it was the sunny cluster, the cruise cluster, the city cluster, the minimal cluster. I want to know the one that you like best in the comments below. Thank you so much to Level 8 for partnering with me on today's video. It was such a pleasure to receive and to use this beautiful luggage. It's stunning. It's practical. It's durable. It checks all the boxes. I'll have all the information so that you can get a set of your own in the description box below. Also, if you really like this type of content, you want to see more travel content, let me know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe so we can keep hanging out here on YouTube. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next video.